Hello everybody, getting ready to do lesson 8.1 part 2 pre-calculus math today. And for today's lesson, you got six points here to go into your notebook guide or your notebook. And we'll have 52 points on your class worksheet. Students in my classroom, student name, date, and period. If you're homeschooling, put your due date down here. And then today's Bellwork students, teachers, uh, again, find if possible A minus B, 2B minus 3A, A, B, and B, A here. Here is your new uh, A and B. Uh, teachers, give your students about five, six minutes for that. See you in five or six minutes. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you're done here. So for A, A minus B, this will be your A minus B uh, matrix here. And then for B would be 2B minus 3A, 2B minus 3A, you should have that. And then for AB here, A times B, you should come up with that. And then for your B times A, you should come up with this here. <clears throat> into our lesson today we'll start out with a notebook uh, slide some sequences are defined recursively to define a sequence recursively you need to give one or more of the first few terms all other terms of the sequence are then defined using previous terms so that would get a little bit more complicated there for that so a recursive sequence, a recursive sequence, a sequence is defined recursively as follows. A1 is 3, A2 to the K is 2AK minus 1 plus 1, where K has got to be greater than or equal to 2 in this situation there. And then write the first five terms of this sequence here. So... <clears throat> We know A is 1. This is our first term. Here's our first term. So A2 would be 2A to the 2 minus 1 plus 1 it would, would equal 2A to the 1 plus 1. So it would be 2 times 3, since this is A1 plus 1, would be 7. So this is using your recursion formula. And then for our third term here, 2A to the 3 minus 1 plus 1, it would be 2A2, which in this case here would be 7. So it would be 14 plus 1 would be 15. So using our previous result here, which is 7, 2 times 7 plus 1 would be 15. And then 4 here, 2A to the 4 minus 1 would be plus 1, be 2A3 plus 1, be 2 times 15 plus 1 would be 31 for our A to the 4th there. And then A to the 5 would be 2A to the 5 minus 1 plus 1, be 2A to the 4th, which is 31 plus 1, be 62 plus 1, be 63. So this would be how your entry would be in your calculator and min equals 1 then u to the n equals 2u to the n minus 1 plus 1 and then you go back into your list so you've covered this in, in your classroom usually by now so you should have that your calculator techniques down to solve these on your calculator once you know how to do that it's like you got it made Okay, let's try one here. Write the first five terms of the sequence defined recursively. So we got our first term here is 28, and then 8k plus 1 equals 8k minus 4. So knowing, and this is on you students down here, so that's on you. Pay attention up here to solve this one here. So a1 equals 28. And then 8k plus 1 equals 8k minus 4. So if we have a a1 equals 28, our A2 will be A1 minus 4 <clears throat> would equal uh, A1 minus 4 to be 28 because our A2 here would be A to the 2, uh, wait a minute, whoa, 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 A1 equals 28, A2 would be A1 minus 4, so it would be A1, 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 that's 8k2 plus 1. So 8k here 
8k minus 4 so 28 minus 4 would equal 24 and then a3 here would be a2 minus 4 would be 24 because this is our 24 for a1 24 minus 4 would be 20 and then a4 would be a3 which is 20 minus 4 would be 16 and then a5 would be a4 minus 4 would be 12 in that case so that's why it's recursive here because you're always going back to your previous output to determine what you're going to do in in the present output hello everybody we're back in here to example number five the Fibonacci sequence, the recursive sequence, uh, the Fibonacci sequence is defined recursively as follows. A0 equals 0, A1 equals 1, AK equals AK minus 2 plus AK minus 1, where K has got to be greater than or equal to 2. And write the first six terms of this sequence. So we're dealing with the Fibonacci sequence here. A0 equals 1, the zeroth term is given. So a1 would equal 1. First term is given. So both 0 and 1 equal 1 here. So a2 would equal a2 minus 2 plus a2 minus 1. So be a0 plus a1 would equal 1 plus 1 would equal 2. So there is our first term there. And then a3 would be a3 minus 2 plus a3 minus 1. So it'll be a1 plus a2 would equal 1 plus 2 would equal 3. Again, using recursive kinds of actions here. a4 would be a2 plus a3 would equal 2 plus 3 would equal 5. And then a5 would be a3 plus a4 would equal 8. You can check this, re this result using the table feature of a graphing utility as shown. So when you put this into your graphing calculator, here is your sequence here. And then here's your output out here for that. <clears throat> so let's try one. Write the first five terms of the sequence defined recursively. A0 equals 1, A1 equals 3, and AK would equal AK minus 2 plus AK minus 1. So we have kind of like a Fibonacci sequence here. You have the same thing down here, students, independently. So pay attention up here so you can solve yours. So for this one up here, A0 will equal 1, A1 equals 3, AK will equal AK minus 2 plus AK minus 1. So A0 will equal 1, A1 will equal 3. So when we do that, when we have when we plug it into our sequence up here, we get 4. And then for 3, it would be 3 plus 4 equals 7. And then for 4 to be 4 plus 7 will equal 11 there. So you just go back and you borrow. So this becomes the first part of this sequence here. Then this becomes the first part of this sequence here. And you just keep going like that. Okay, slide number 8, factorial notation. Some very important sequences in mathematics involve terms that are defined with special types of products called factorials. The definition of a factorial, if n is a positive integer, then n factorial is defined as n factorial be 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times blah 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 n minus 1 times n. So that's a fancy way of saying as a special case, 0 factorial is defined by, and this is a special case, 0 factorial equals 1. So go figure. But that's the case there. <clears throat> Notice that 0 factorial equals 1, and 1 factorial also equals 1. Here are some other values of n factorial. So 2 factorial equals 2, 3 factorial equals 6, 4 factorial equals 24. The value of n does not have to be very large before the value of n factorial becomes huge. For instance, 10 factorial is this number here. 3,628,800, so it gets large in a hurry. Factorials follow the same conventions for order of operations as to exponents. For instance, 2n factorial equals 2 times n factorial, which will equal 2 times 1, 2, 3, 4, blah, 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 2n. So, 
whereas 2n factorial will equal 1, 2, 3, 4 times 2n <coughs> factorial. Okay, let's get into some of these factorials now. Writing the terms of a sequence involving factorials. Write the first five terms of the sequence given by a to the n equals 2n over n factorial. Begin with n equals 0. So for that one, uh, a naught here in this case will be two, 2 to the 0 power over 0 factorial will equal 1 over 1, which equals 1. And then to our first term here, a to the 1, we equal 2 to the 1 over 1 factorial will equal 2. And then a to the 2 will be 2, fact, 2 squared over 2 factorial will equal 2. And then uh, a, the third term here will be 2 uh, cubed over 3 factorial will equal 4 over 3. And then a to the 4 here will be 2 2 to the 4th power over 4 factorial factorial equal 2 over 3. And the, okay, well that's it. Using a graphing utility or graphing calculator set to dot and sequence modes, enter the sequence. Next, graph the sequence as shown. This would be your graph here. So your, your graph kind of falls here kind of falls in a hurry here. It gets real close to zero, actually. So use the trace feature to approximate the first five terms. So your graph will look like that for this kind of uh, sequence. OK, so knowing that, you can estimate the first five terms of the sequence as follows. u naught equals 1, u1 equals 2, u2 equals 2. And then u to the third will equal 1.33 be 4.3, which I think is that right there. And then u the fourth uh, term will equal 0.667, which is down there, will equal two thirds. So that would be how your graph would look. It would look like that. So let's try one. Uh, write the first five terms of the sequence. That'd be a, a and a is here, and then b. Uh, they, they use, we're supposed to use a, a table feature, a graphing calculator, and then B algebraically. So for up here, A to the N equals 1 over N factorial. So for 63 up here, this would be our outputs here, 1.5, 1, 1. Uh, 1.667, and 0. 0.0417. You should see that on your calculator. That's for, see, what is five first five terms? And then see here we only got up to four here oh with well, this would be five zero one two three four five and then see right the first five turns of the sequence using table of the graphing utility and then algebraically so a naught would be it kind of shows us here one over zero factorial would be one and then one over one factorial would equal one so it kind of explains that there and then for b over here uh, algebraically so this is your algebraic expressions here that uh, justifies this these are using fractions and these are in decimals here students this is yours so get on that let's go into our next example here which is example 7 simplifying factorial expressions 8 factorial over 2 factorial multiplied by 6 factorial. <clears throat> so you can put these all out here. 8 factorial, this is 8 factorial here. So this much will cancel out with this much down here. 2 factorial, here's 2 factorial, and then 6 factorial is here. So your 6 factorial will cancel that out. You'll stand up, you'll still end up with 7 times 8 over 1 times 2, which will come out to 28, is what that will come out to. And then for a B part of this, n factorial over n minus 1 factorial. So uh, 1, 2, 3, uh, blah, 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 n minus 1 times n, which is what this would be here, going back into your original. Uh, um, uh, definitions of factorial and then 1, one 2, 3 multiplied by n minus 1 without the n. So your n up here is expressed out here and then down here 
your n is inside your parentheses, so you don't, you don't get an n outside here. So these all cancel out. It comes out just the n for that case. Or this is n over 1 is what that comes out to. And then we move into this up here. We, we get another uh, chance here. 73, simplify the factorial. Then students, this is up to you. So go ahead and expand these out and then cancel. Is kind of like the hint on that. And then for this one here, n plus 1 uh, times n factorial over n factorial will be n plus 1. These, these will cancel here. So that equals that. And then down here, students, I'm going to let you do that on your own. I'm going to let you expand that on your own. <clears throat> and that is part 2 of 8.1, pre-calculus math. Uh, if you need classwork, homework sheets, note-taking guides, email me here, anime PowerPoint math video at ALO.com. Go to my YouTube site to to get a uh, another uh, a uh, web uh, version of this, whether a um, video version. Thank you very much.